Welcome back to youtube.com slash geekaloud. Today we are going to have a look at uh, another Let's Install and uh, just to mix it up a little bit, uh, I'll refer to uh, a couple we're going to do or I'm going to do apart, uh, aside from Troy um, that I'll uh, call uh, essentially Bully's Backlog. So uh, I've got a bunch of uh, physical game discs there that uh, I'm going to go through, install and then we'll do some uh, playthroughs of them as well. Today is Fist which is uh, acronym for Forged in Shadow Torch. Um, so I'll tell you a bit more about it in a moment, but uh, we will just jump into it. I've gone one too early there. Let's jump over to the install there. So uh, 20.170 gigabyte install, uh, telling us it's got about, uh, whew, what do we got, 11 minutes there, so hopefully it won't be too long. While we're running through that, I will tell you about uh, Gaming Enforcement Agency, GEA, on this here very channel. That's Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Australian time, where myself, Unky Dunky, and Troy discuss the games we've been playing this week. And if I can get to this one before the show, uh, this may be uh, getting a mention. And uh, we also discuss the news of the week and then the standoff where we pit the uh, best of gaming against each other, where one winner will come out on top. We also jump into the chat with a bit of audience participation as well. Um, make sure if you uh, can join us live, uh, jump into the chat. Uh, we're monitoring that through the show and we'll uh, pick out some of the best as we're going through. And what we can't get to while we're going through, we'll uh, have a sift through at the end of the show as well. It's 8 o'clock uh, p.m. Australian Eastern Time every Thursday. Um, Fist, Forged in Shadow Torch, was released in 2021 on... Uh, PS4, uh, PS5, and then a Windows port and a Nintendo Switch uh, copy in July 2022, so a couple of years old. Um, I think originally it did just come out as a uh, digital only release and then was released as a physical edition, um, which is what I've got here. You can see the outer uh, slips, slip cover there, and then uh, this was the limited edition, so it's got a uh, sticker set. That might be upside down. A couple of lithographs. And then one more to go with it there. And the steelbook as well. So you can see they're not a bad looking uh, steelbook by all accounts. I would open it up and show you the inside, but there is a digital soundtrack code in there and I uh, haven't blocked out the uh, code and I haven't used it yet. So uh, we'll leave that one for the time being. Uh, Fist. Looks like we've got, uh, what have we got, seven minutes to go. So we'll uh, let that uh, ride out and uh, we'll be back shortly.
All right, so we finished the install, and then it's just updating to uh, version 1.202.000. Uh, not too long left on that one, about uh, a minute or so. Um, as I said, uh, released in uh, 2021. It's a Metroidvania style game, but uh, a bit of a futuristic type setting there. So um, yes, Metroid is, I guess, you can argue it's set in the future, I suppose. Um, with the way it's sort of set, but this is sort of, uh, comes across as more of a steampunk uh, sort of game. So we'll, uh, as I said, uh, keep an eye, an eye out on the channel and uh, we'll certainly have uh, a let's play of this when I jump into it and uh, work out what's going on and, and how it all works. Uh, we will jump into it shortly though, just to check out some of the settings and if there's a uh, performance mode or graphics mode, although I don't think this one would be overly graphically intensive, so uh, may not have that option. And uh, just as a reminder as well, I touched on before GEA, which is the uh, podcast or uh, live stream each week on this channel. You can also grab that on your favorite streaming services as well. Uh, it now comes as an audio version. So if you can't join us live or can't get onto YouTube for some reason, uh, or you wanna listen to it driving around in your car and uh, Join uh, the three of us as we discuss the games we've been playing. Uh, jump onto your podcast service of choice there. And you can also follow us on Twitter at Geek Aloud, And we will have uh, updates throughout the week, just uh, giving you an update uh, as to video releases uh, on the channel, as well as uh, some other news and commentary as uh, well. So we're just about uh, finished here with the update file. Hopefully this one doesn't take too long to copy over as we're copying now. Dragging its feet, hopefully it starts to ramp up a little bit. And while that's finishing off, I might just uh, tell you about, I uh, touched on it before, the uh, standoff that we have in uh, GEA each week. Last week we had the uh, best uh, well, I've gone blank now. We had the best uh, standby. I'll just bring it up again and I'll tell you exactly what it was. Oh, no, they've updated. I can't remember what it was. But it was basically the best doppelga uh, doppelgamer is what it was. Doppelgamer is what we had. So the best uh, game that copied uh, something or either in part or in its, in its entirety. And that was our uh, choice. We threw up, I think, nine, uh, Troy and I, last week and uh, picked our winner out of that lot. Uh, jump onto the show from last week. There we've got installing 100% updated. So we'll flick back to the screen as it loads up. Tower Games, I don't think I've ever seen anything from them or China Hero Project, but uh, there you go. Unreal Engine. And just as well, um, as I was uh, having a look there before, it looks like it was fairly favorably, favorably reviewed, I should say. Um, Steam, I think, was up around the 90%. Um, percent. Game Informer had it at 8.5%. Um, so fairly well reviewed uh, on that one. And if we go back to Steam, was 9 out of 10 and 93% of uh, users enjoyed that one. So... Looks like it rates fairly highly. As I said, um, game, close up or simple, video, just got brightness options, audio, standard options there, language and your control settings. Uh, so that looks uh, fairly simple in terms of your options for that one. We will jump back out here just as we round off, have a look at the information and find out exactly what we're looking at. We are looking at a total install size of 20.11 gigabytes completed at uh, version 1.202.000 and that is fist forged in shadow torch as i said keep an eye on the channel uh, we will certainly uh, jump into this at some point and uh, throw a video up of the gameplay and some uh, thoughts on uh, how the game is and uh That'll do us another successful Let's Install for Geek Aloud. What else can you do with the channel? You can like it, so you can subscribe it. And
Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> G Donkey. <laughs>